This week, Australia has set a new record in renewable energy. A lot of this record does come from one product, in particular one product, and that is solar panels coming from China. As China has reduced the prices of solar panels, and this year drastically so, more and more Australians have installed them, and as efficiency has gone up, more people have bought them. So this is good news and bad news, because obviously China already holds a bit of a monopoly on the solar panel market. But after this new discovery, which some experts are saying is a breakthrough, in fact, it is a breakthrough to be fair because it is a world record in solar panel efficiency. Well, they're now saying that China's grip on the solar panel manufacturing industry worldwide will further strengthen. They're warning that this is a risk to manufacturing, particularly US manufacturing of solar panels. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. China's new miracle material, they're saying it's a miracle material, has achieved a record-breaking solar panel energy. The company called Longi, which is one of, one of the three biggest solar panel manufacturers in the world, has a, achieved a theoretical limit of just under 34% or 33.7% for single junction solar cells with its tandem solar cell design. So the way that solar panels can get to these new record numbers, which seem incredibly high, is by using tandem solar cells, which is essentially like a two layer cell combining two different types of technology. They're quite commonplace now though. Solar technology from Longi has set this new world record. They're actually saying that it's just about to hit 34%. They're now, uh, after this news release was reported, it said 33.7, but now the company is saying, no, no, no it's 33.9. And this achievement has been certified by the US National Renewable Energy Laboratory, a company press release has claimed. I have to admit, I was a little surprised to see that a US company has certified this because Longi, like I said, is a Chinese multinational. They are called Longi Green Energy Technology Company Limited, and they are a Chinese photovoltaic company and a major manufacturer of solar modules and developer of solar power projects. They're actually the world's largest manufacturer of monocrystalline silicon wafers, and they're listed on the Shanghai Stock Exchange. Interesting Engineering said that renewable energy research has seen a massive push with the world looking to reduce its dependence on fossil fuels. Scientists worldwide have been working to improve the efficiency and the price of solar panels so that more energy can be generated from the same area where they are installed. The standard single junction solar cells found in most commercial installations have a theoretical limit of 33.7%, also referred to as the shockley Quiza or SQ limit. To overcome this, researchers have been working with different materials that can be paired with silicon to improve efficiency. Significant success has been achieved with perovskite solar cells. So what is a perovskite silicon tandem solar cell? A tandem solar cell is made up of different materials, each responding to a separate section of the solar spectrum basically responding to different levels of heat more than anything else. This aids in improving the overall efficiency of the cell significantly. And they work even better at different times of day as well. So whilst the efficiency is improved at its theoretical maximum, you might find the efficiency is actually higher at say 9 a.m. in the morning or 6 p.m. at night than this theoretical maximum would suggest it would be. With perovskites, a naturally occurring mineral of calcium, Silicon-based solar cells have a theoretical efficiency of 43%, which is incredible. That makes them the likely candidate for upgrading conventional solar cells. And this is why perovskites are also known as a miracle material. Now, I've reported on this technology in various forms on the channel. So if you're interested in this kind of thing, stay subscribed and I'll continue to report on new developments in the solar industry. Earlier this year, researchers at the King Abdullah University of Science and Technology in Saudi Arabia set a global record by reaching an efficiency of 33.2% with their tandem solar cell. I'm reported on that at the time, and if you'd like to know more about that, I do have a video on that. I'll put a link in the description. At 33.9%, this effort from the Chinese research firm is marginally better, but it's actually much more significant. It demonstrates huge scope for improving the efficiency of tandem solar cells and it comes from, like I said, one of the biggest manufacturers of 
these panels in the world. In other words, this is not like some product where people come along and say, hey, look at this amazing thing we have. It's so great. This is 99% of the products that everyone talks about, by the way. 99% of these things we hear about, they're theoretically awesome, but they never reach production. They're too expensive or they're made by small companies. They can't scale. But when you hear of a big company, it's like when you hear of CATL bringing out new battery technology, you go, whoa, take a seat. I need to know more about this because this is going to become a real product that you can really buy. Longy's achievement is significant considering that in November last year, its tandem solar cells reached a record of 26.8%. So they've gone from 26.8% in 12 months to 33.9%. That's incredible. That's just spectacular. Imagine if they continued this development pace. We could be seeing, seeing them hit 40% by this time next year. That would be unbelievable. Now, this was a record of its own back then. So the record, Longy said, in November of last year was 26.8%, right? And then we get to 12 months later, they set another record of 33.9. Rapid development in the field of, in particular, limited artificial intelligence, so not AGI, not artificial general intelligence, but sort of like a small AI, has meant that companies like Longy can use quantum computing and super fast, very, very powerful supercomputers to actually work out the best way to make these panels and to improve efficiency really, really quickly. Longy's arrival at, on top in the tandem solar cell research and development arena signals a huge shift in technological know-how to China. It's a bit alarming, to be honest, but it's a trend we've seen in other domains. Earlier in the year, the Independent reported that the work done at Nanjing University in China would finally solve the problems of mass production of perovskite cells. So here's the other issue, mass production of the cells needed for these panels. But after Nanjing University said that they've solved that problem earlier this year, it's very possible these panels could be mass produced within one to two years. As a major global supplier of single junction solar cells, Longi is obviously in a really good position to leverage its massive global production capabilities to roll out this new and incredibly efficient tandem solar cell product made with so-called miracle material. If you compare this to what's going on in the UK and Germany right now, they are looking to actually mass manufacture panels using PV technology, basically the same technology in this, with 28.6% efficiency. So their co production costs are significantly higher, of course, and the product is not as efficient. So 28.6 compared to 32.9 means, well, it means China clearly has the upper hand. There's no doubt about that. The photovoltaic industry is doing everything it can to reduce costs and improve efficiencies. And China has actually revealed its plan recently. It plans to make millions of robots in order to be able to mass manufacture things like solar panels at costs that no one else can match. That's what it's hoping to do. And this is a big part of what they believe is the transition of China's energy industry. It wants to move away from burning coal. It wants to move away from gas, any fossil fuels, all of them, period, and go to renewables. And to be fair, it is trying to do that. It installed more solar panels in China. Well, China installed more solar panels last year than the rest of the world combined, meaning that it has enough renewable energy now to run every single home, apartment, block, whatever it is, in the entire country of China for all 1.4 billion people. It doesn't have renewables enough yet, nowhere near for its manufacturing, but it plans to do so by the end of 2030. Now, some other interesting research here that Interesting Engineering pointed out, guys, and this is that recently manufacturers have been really focused on something that's, I think it's groundbreaking, right? Solar panels, they do have to go in the bin. We have to throw them out eventually. They're not five years time, but probably 20, 30 years time, especially perovskite cells. So they're working on versatility and longevity. However, in addition to making double-sided solar panels, which can be pivoted and rotated depending on where the sun's coming from, which massively improve the actual energy gains we get from panels, scientists have been working on what they call self-healing solar panels. They say that new self-healing solar panels will be able to fix themselves whenever that's needed and work for hundreds of years. So 
if those panels are mass manufactured within say the next 10 or 20 years, that would be incredible. That's a complete game changer. Imagine if you installed solar panels on your roof today and in 200 years time, that was still producing more than enough energy for all the inhabitants that were living in that house, assuming someone would still be living there. That would be amazing. Now let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching.